Hey, Shalom, Shalom, all praises to Yah, Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Akakadash, man, Shalom, Labakarium, Shaw Yasharala. And I want to do a quick video on this because I was inspired, you know, through the spirit of Yah, Bashim Yahshai, man. And, um, hey, man, this is beautiful, man, because the Lord is doing something beautiful. And, like the brothers say on this dream that, um, he had and his children had, and, you know, it's a very big faith booster. And um, all all of us brothers that are sincere, you know, we got family, we got children and, and wives and family members that we care about, you know. And, you know, only the Lord knows if he's going to have mercy on whoever he wishes he will have mercy on. But we pray for them that the Lord may have mercy. I know I do daily because I have children, you know, I have l little children like, like, like the Ark. You know, it's explaining, you know, he has little children. I, you know, I have a three-year-old daughter. I have a nine-year-old daughter. And I have a 12-year-old daughter. Those are my youngest, you know. My sons is 14 and 21. But, you know, I can I can relate to this because, you know, we all ask for mercy for ourselves, you know. And also for our family, man. So I want y'all to listen to this, you know. And then I'm going to get a scripture because, you know, I want to get my uh, little personal uh you know, testimony on it as well. He said like it was, it was basically Jacob's trouble and I had to go into a store and I told her to stay with her two brothers and I couldn't imagine telling her, telling my daughter that's Tim to stay with her, you know, five-year-old and two-year-old brother while all hell's breaking loose and I'm going into a store to find something. And, and she, she said she heard a voice call out to her and when she looked up in the sky, she said it was a so-called black man with a white hair beard. And he said, don't be afraid. And she asked him what his name was. And he said, Yahweh, like, those are faith builders because in the time that we're coming in, we may not be around our children. We may not be able to get to our children. We may not be able to get to our wives because we're on the move. And we're going to put our trust in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. And when they had those dreams of being used up, it's beautiful because we know what's going to happen to this place. You know, it tells you in the book of Revelation 18 and 4, you know, how the Lord says, come, um, Matter of fact, I'm going to grab it. This is Revelation 18 and 4. And it says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. Yeah, man. And, and that's powerful, man. And like I always tell brothers, too, here in my camp, you know, here in Jersey, and brothers, hey, the Lord always has a way to confirm things, man. If it's, if it's spiritual, everything is all spiritual, man. And he has a way of, you know, giving us a sense of safety, man, because he sees that we are sincere. And um, I pray for my daughters and my children because they live far from me, you know, and I pick them up, you know, for the weekends. And um, they live with their moms. And, you know, I always pray for them to make sure they're okay, have the angels around them. And the Lord has actually confirmed that through my um 12 year old daughter because she she for the past couple of months been seeing the chariots and she's been recording them and um now she's into it she's into it and you know the lord has been revealing the chariots to my daughter and uh, when she sees when she's she calls me she's excited she sends it to me i send it to brothers and that's just confirmation that the lord is protecting our children through the angels and just like in this dream, man, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua through the Spirit tells the children, you know, don't worry, you're safe. And that's what's going to happen because we're coming, we're coming down to the wire where this damn devil is showing his true horns. And um, Jacob's troubles around the corner. And we know that we're going to need Yahweh Bashim Yahshua to protect us. And you better believe it that he is going to make miracles and things happen. It's going to be divine intervention, you know? So, you know, Psalms 34 and 7, I know you brothers are familiar with this. The angel of the Lord, Yahweh, camp of round about them that fear him and deliver them. So we have angels around us, man, all the time. When we at camp, we're home, you know, if your children live afar from you, you and your your ex not together. Whatever the case might be, Yahabashim Yahushua, if you're sincere in this truth, he has the angels around you and your family, man. 
and especially the times that we're approaching Jacob's trouble, we're going to be all right, man. You know? So let me get it. Um, let me get this other scripture real quick. I read this scripture earlier, which is beautiful. All right. Uh, Psalms, um, and I'm going to end it here. Psalms 144. And I'm going to start out. Uh, uh, what's this one? Psalms 144. Yeah, I'm going to start at verse 6. Cast forth lightning and scatter them. Shoot I thy arrows and destroy them. Send thy hand from above. Rid me and deliver me out of, a, out of great waters. From the hand of strange children whose mouth speak of vanity and their right hand is right hand of falsehood. So we know this water is symbolic as Esau's military man, his wrath when he comes down. Remember Isaiah 19 says that he shall come with the flood, but the Lord shall lift up a standard. It's going to be a lot of intervention going on. Miracles are going to happen. The Lord is going, hey man, the Lord is going to uh, protect his that are, that fear him and are about him only. And we mean Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai, not just the Most High or Yahweh. Or we, or this, or we don't worship Yahweh Shai. Or, you know, you, you men out there that are lacking faith, man, you're going to learn the hard way in Jacob's trouble. But this was a beautiful dream, man, that this brother had and his children, man, just to show you that Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai is in the midst of us, man, and the angels are around us. And don't lack faith. I know it's going to get weary and hard, but guess what? It's all right. We're going to get through it through the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Shalom.